Hi everyone, today we're going to be reviewing the Getting Started Guide for the Agilex Robotics Limo. We have a pretty comprehensive guide on our documentation website, which I will be reviewing as we go through it. Uh, we'll just be going step by step. So we are opened to the first part of the Getting Started Guide, which is the first time use section. So step one, well step zero technically, is to unbox the robot, take everything out of its crate, and just lay it out all in front of you. We have the robot itself, the battery, the two antennas, its charger, uh, screws for the wheels, the treads, uh, the mechanism wheels, and then the screwdriver. So we're gonna take the antennas and just screw them on to the ports on top. And it doesn't really matter how they're oriented, but I think it looks cool when it's like this. So we're gonna do that. The next step is to charge the battery. So you're going to take the charger, plug it into the wall, and take this barrel jack, plug it into here, and then wait for the LED indicator on this to turn green. Then when it's ready, you're gonna open up the cargo bay in the back of the robot, open it up and attach these yellow battery connectors. Just push that inside of it. Just kind of minding the wires and the cables, the connectors, and you can close up the cargo bay door. This is the power button. You're gonna hold it down until it beeps. Okay, it's powered up. You can hear fans running, cute little eyes. You have these lights indicating the drive mode. So here we have the, uh, the battery charge level and the different meanings. Uh, so solid green indicates that it has sufficient battery charge. And we have three to four-ish lights, depending on whatever voltage reading it's getting. And then only, it's only a problem if it's really low, like at one, or if it is flashing red, which indicates a low battery charge, in which case to avoid damage to the computer or the motors or anything, I recommend turning it off and just charging it. So like I said before, it has these lights in the front that indicate the uh, driving status or the current driving mode of the robot. Uh, so if it's blinking red, that means that there's either low battery or there's a problem with a main controller, uh, in which case you can typically power cycle it and it'll be fixed. Um, if it's solid red, it's stopped due to an error. Same thing, you can power cycle it and it will typically get fixed. Uh, if the knobs are inserted and it is yellow, then that indicates that it is driving in differential. And if you have tracked, then it's tracked. It's the same uh, setup or same configuration uh, for differential and tracked. If they are blue, then it's in mechanic mode. Uh, use, or when you have the mechanic wheels on and you switch it in the application. And then if they are pulled up and these are green, then it indicates that it's an Ackerman mode. All right, the next step is to open the door on the right side of the robot. And that shows a USB hub with a USB uh, type C and two USB type A's. And you're just gonna wanna plug in a keyboard and mouse so that we can connect to the internet. And we will switch over to the robot right now. And when the robot turns on, you'll see this fancy screen uh, with the Agile X logo and a couple of things on screen. You can ignore those things uh, on the desktop. I'm gonna go into the system settings. network and wireless, and you're just going to connect to your local wireless network. So in this case, we're connecting it to our in-house network, TRNet. Okay, and then you'll see that we are connected and we are good to start using the robot. Next couple of steps we're gonna be doing for this guide is setting up the mobile application. The mobile application allows you to control the steering and uh, change a bunch of different configurations on your Limo. Uh, so on this page, we have uh, instructions for both Android and iOS. So first, you're going to point your phone's camera at the QR code on the page. 
uh, that applies to either the Android or the iOS. With iOS, the Agile X application is on the App Store, so you can just download it directly from there. So once you have it downloaded and installed, uh, you are going to open up the application, um, give it at least location permissions, uh, tap on the Bluetooth icon, and you'll see a bunch of different uh, potential Bluetooth connections nearby. You are going to choose the one that says LM dash, and then followed by the number on your robot. So in this case, it is LM dash 000536, which is the first connection that we see. Press connect. There you go, connection is okay. Now we can drive it around. Switch to the different steering modes and open up the settings. So all of the different options in here are described in the mobile app usage page if you want more details, again, for both Android and iOS. But now we're connected and we can just drive it around uh, using our phone. The final section for this guide is finding out how to set up remote development between your remote workstation and your robot. In this case, we are going to do a remote desktoping application called No Machine. Going to download No Machine from its download page. You have options for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I already have it downloaded on Linux, so I don't have to go through that step myself. Uh, then make sure the robot and the computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. You're going to open No Machine on your computer. It will search for computers on your local network. And wait a minute until it finds this. So Agilex Ubuntu 18.04 NX. You can double click on that. The username in this case is Agile X and the password is AGX. The letter A, G, and X. Click save this password to the connection file if you want. Hit OK. Uh, and then present you with a whole bunch of different options or not options, but just different tips and tricks. You can click to don't show anymore for this connection if you want and configure it as you go. And we are in. So you can see that I opened the file explorer on the remote desktop software and it opened up here. So using no machine, it's like any other remote desktoping software, you can do anything that you would normally do, except you are just talking over some uh, network connection. And then the other way to do remote development is to use the uh, secure shell protocol SSH. Uh, this is a way to just get access to a terminal on a remote device over a network connection. Uh, so you first should install the open SSH client on your remote computer. I've already done that, so I don't need to. And you're gonna want to install the open SSH server on your robot, and I've already done that. Make sure that the robot and your computer are on the same network. And then we are just going to type the command ssh-uppercase-x agilex at agilex.local. And same thing before, it is, the, the password is just agx, all lowercase. And then we're in. And some cases it might prompt uh, if you want to continue despite not being able to verify the authenticity of the host. And it will also, it might ask you if you want to accept the SSH key. In both cases, say yes. Uh, finally, like uh, before, I mentioned that we use the uh, uppercase X flag. That just means that we want to do display forwarding. Um, this will allow us to like open potentially multiple terminals using SSH. So if I wanted to normally, I would have to open up another terminal and SSH again. And it's not difficult, but it's a little tedious. So just to get around that, 
we can use this command right here while you are currently SSH'd in. And this will open up a, another terminal, but this terminal is forwarded from your robot. And you can open up new terminals or even new windows on the machine. And then to get out of this, you can hit Control D, and it will close the connection. And that's it for the getting started guide. Like I said, all of this or all of these guides are on our documentation website, just docs.trustrobotics.com. That will be linked in the description.